hi angels welcome back to my channel so this is going to be a get ready with me so it's going to be a little chatty so grab some tea and enjoy hi everyone so as you can see i have my makeup done like camera ready so this is not a, like everyday makeup look this is like a uh, camera if you're doing like a photo shoot or if you're gonna be like doing video so stuff like that so this is what it looks like I love it um, I don't wear a lot of makeup usually but um, I do like very seldom like occasionally like if I just want to have fun so today I'm going to a pool party so I was like let me just like hit up my friend and have her do my makeup for fun and just you know because you're just tired of like the same old thing i got some braids and got my makeup done so i'm just like very i'm feeling out of my comfort zone and i really and i like it One of the new and upcoming makeup artists located in the Atlanta area. She's also an inspiring entrepreneur and has her own lipstick line called Burst Cosmetics. I have left all her contact information in the description box below. I know there are a lot of graduations coming up, a lot of weddings, so she's available to travel, especially if you're local. If you're interested in any of the products that I've used, I've kept a tight list in the description box. I made sure to keep it in order. So if you have any questions, just let me know.
got these cornrow braids. Let me show you. I went to this place called Fatos Braiding, F-A-T-O-U. I'll leave everything in the description. And um, so I went there, met with this lady named Fatima. She was really nice, really, really sweet. Um, everybody in there speaks French. So I had no idea what they were saying. I didn't know what was going on. So I went in there with my hair blow dried. Is what it looks like blown out so it's gotten pretty long let's see the back still maybe about mid back ish so it, it was a huge ordeal i i didn't know this person i didn't even know like if they knew how to braid i originally had someone else and that's a long story but I, I I kept up with what was going on on my snapchat my main concern was my edges like I did not want to come out of this with no edges so I was just like telling her like I just want like don't do it tight don't do it tight or whatever like I wanted it to look neat and look like it was tight but just not so like so like just pulling back because I feel like that is the issue with a lot of like women uh, who get braids is that their edges are like gone so i don't do it a lot i don't do it consistently so i don't think i'll have a problem but i'll let you know in a couple weeks or a week or two if you know i still have edges uh, the braiding the hair that i use is called kangalon i don't know if i'm saying that kangalon kangalon i'll put it here but um the the hair color was number four because my hair has like a little brownish tint to it because i did a rinse a few months ago so it's not dark brown i think my natural hair color like my roots are like uh probably like a 1b i don't know this is really my hair is really dark but it's a little bit lighter than dark brown so it was number four um another thing that i did not like was that they used a small rat tail comb to comb through my hair like when they would section it they would take like this section and they would comb my hair out with this with a small comb but with my hair type you have to use a a wide tooth comb not a small rat tail like the teeth cannot be so close together because it's gonna rip out my hair but because my hair is already detangled and it was already blow dried out it was okay for her to use the rat tail but I was just looking at her like ma'am you are ripping out my hair but it was fine so I was trying not to be rude but at the same time I was like I still want my hair on my edges like, do not pull don't do this so if you tell them what you want they'll do it so um, when they had my the hair I had to hold the hair like in my hand and so I was like feeding her the hair so I would like take a piece and like give it to her or whatever so we were like a team so I was like holding it and going like this or whatever it was like real braiding right so um every few every like few seconds or so she would dip her hand in it was called enhanced defined pre-wash detangling butter for natural textures by motion so she would put her finger in that and then she would also put her finger in the Ampro Pro Style Super Hold protein styling gel so I guess just to lay my hair down she would put her hand her finger in one and then the other and kind of like mix it together and style all the way down all the way back as I kept like supplying her with the um, with the hair every time so it took about one hour and I really like it y'all like it's so different and um, I would suggest going in there with a picture. So um, I went in there with a picture and I had originally wanted my hair straight back, but she was saying how my hairline, like I didn't want it like this. I wanted it more like starting here and then going straight back. But she said my hairline, like my hair grows like this. You know, like my hairline is more like that. It's not like a circle. Like my hair, if my hairline was more like that or something, it would look better. But she was saying my hairline, it would look a little bit better, smoother. So I was like, okay, you know, I trust you. You're the professional. You braid all day and night. So, you know, I've never gotten braids before. She could tell that I was a little nervous. So when she, after she braided it down, she would take the ends and she would take a lighter and light the end. So I didn't know that they did that. So I was like, oh, okay, you're gonna light the end. Okay, fine. So my real hair stops like maybe up here. 
maybe here, maybe, maybe, I don't know. But it's not, you know, over here. So she just lit it, I guess, just to like hold it so it wouldn't come apart, like in the next couple weeks or whatever. So, um, so she did that every time. And then she took some scissors and she just cut off the excess hair here. So she was kind of going up here like this, like getting my real hair too. And I was like, you know, please just don't cut my hair. And she's like, okay, so she, she will listen to you. If you tell her don't, she won't. So. She just stayed at the ends and cut, you know, just all that little excess hair that was kind of like hanging off. And then she boiled some water and I had seen that already. I had seen someone who, who, who has done their own braids before, put like dip the ends in boiling water. So I was all right with that. So basically she put it behind me and I kind of just like sat there and like put my head all the way back into some hot water. And she said it was to like relax them. So it would kind of look like this, you know. And I guess if she didn't do that, it wouldn't look as smooth. So I really like them, I'm very happy. The only con is, I feel like I have to wear them up like this because if I wear them back, if you notice, it's kind of like a lump. You can't really see with my comforter's black, but it's like a little humpish thing going on. So I can't wear them straight back. I can either wear them like forward or something like that, or I can like do something like this. So that's the only con, but besides that, I really, really want con. I'm going to show you three styles you can do with these braids. Got these from my local beauty supply. They'll have, anyway, if you literally walk up to the counter and be like, you know, like the, the hair jewelry that goes around the locks, um, they'll know exactly what you're talking about. It's like a clamp like this. And basically before it was like closed, it was like a little piece and you just kind of take it and open it like that. That makes sense. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take it over whatever piece you want. Oops, I can't see. Now you just take it around my braid, put it like that. It looks really cute. I'm not worried about if they're not closed all the way because this packet, this packet costs like a dollar fifty cents. So I was like, square. It still looks nice, even though these are still not closed all the way. Some people put them like up here in their actual braid. So you could definitely do that. So you just open it, close it. That's cute. Another style you can do. So I'm just gonna leave a couple of ends. I think it'll look cute in the bun. So basically, just take your hair like that. Be careful. And just like, just wrap, just keep wrapping. Oh, y'all heard my back crack. <laughs> I'm just gonna take up your hair tie, just put it around it. It's gonna be a nice cute bun at the bottom. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and give me a request of what you want to do or what, what you want me to do. So make sure to follow me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Snapchat, all that good stuff. And I do videos every single Sunday. So watch out for my next video next Sunday and I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Like you have no idea. So thank you guys so much for your support and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.